Even though I do what I do, I am the first to acknowledge that following your heart in business can be tough, even for me. Even still, it's been two decades of doing that exact thing, helping other people for my work, following my heart, first with massage therapy and opening up a spa, and now with coaching and helping women with their businesses. These are following my heart, letting it guide me, lines of work. And you might be in those same fields or just still stuck in a job that does not feel connected to your heart in any way and you're trying to figure out is it the right thing to do or not. I get it. I was there. And I know it's not easy, which is why through all of these many trials and tribulations and all the lessons that I've learned, I wanted to share some of my best kept secrets with you. Now, the first is just super obvious, but maybe you need to hear this today. Trust that that is there for a reason and that it is not misguiding you. But when I say trust, I mean like a full on universal full body trust. Because if you have doubt, that doubt seeds more doubt. And that doubt will grow when you don't see things, results instantly, which isn't the way that entrepreneurship usually works. So having doubt needs to be truly kick to the curb in any way that you need to do that. So if you need an accountability partner to stay positive, if you need a coach in order to stay on track and at least know that you are supported, you are validated, you are keeping your mindset strong and positive, whatever you have to do to trust that that's no mistake. Like your heart Wanting to help people, sharing your unique gifts with the world in that way is not misleading you. Never, ever, 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 even if bad things happen. Those bad things typically are redirections for your good anyway. So it's really coming to a place of full faith with that. So another tip or secret that I wanted to let you in on was... Enlisting the help of others, both physically and spiritually. I like to call the spiritual team your invisible team, and it's a pretty powerful team to have on your side. So do not dismiss that. Absolutely open up the lines of communication through prayer, meditation, all of the spiritual exercises that you know of. Keep it simple, but keep it consistent. And practicing meditation every morning before you start a day, even if you are still in a nine to five job that you can't even bear anymore, but you're not going to kind of let it go until you see that you've built a solid foundation in your dream business, following your heart. I don't suggest jumping off a cliff and cutting, you know, your financial resources, but knowing when to jump is really important. And you'll know that more when you are not alone and with physical, real relationships, don't try to do it alone. That's a huge one. When you try to do it alone, it's lonely. It's isolating. Entrepreneurship can be very isolating. At least when you go into a, an office or a, a company with many people, you're actually having those interactions, you're socializing, bouncing ideas off of each other. It may or may not feel good when you're in it, but you have something that you may not have as an entrepreneur, a heart-centered business owner. So the last thing that I will say about the secrets to maintaining and growing your heart-centered business and and knowing that it's it's not an easy journey, it's not an easy journey, <laughs> it's just not, is being realistic and setting goals that are realistic. 
And we'll, we'll call these the SMART goals. And you may have heard that term before in life coaching and in business. We kind of use them quite often because it needs to be specific. Your goal needs to be specific. You need to have it be measurable so you know when you actually get there what it um how to place some value on it so it is to earn your first five thousand dollars or to have your first five clients book with you that's a measurable number a goal that you know when you get there you can check it off like yep that's what i wanted and that's what i've accomplished attainable so smart s-m-a-r-t A is for attainable, it must be achievable, and R is realistic, and T is timely. So try to have goals that are not going to take you five years to accomplish. There, I will find the link for the video and a podcast that I did on one of the um, great ways to be successful, or, or I think I this one is to become the CEO of your business. When you're setting these goals, think of them as mile markers. So as a business owner, you're not in a sprint, you're in a marathon. And the only way to just really keep going and be re-energized is by knowing where and when you're getting to that next mile marker. It can be a very small, seemingly insignificant goal but it is not if you haven't yet achieved it. So no matter how small, make that your goal and know when you get there, that's your mile marker. You drink the water and you're running the marathon and you can hear the band playing and people cheering for you and you've made it. You made it to that mile marker. You can see it. Oh, it's almost there. I can see it. I can see it. I'm getting there. And when you make it there, you celebrate it. You absolutely Ah, oh, you honor yourself for achieving that. If you are not celebrating your achievements, no matter how small, as much as possible, two things. Other people may or may not be celebrating. So nobody, it's crickets, and you're actually achieving things, which should feel good. That should be something worth celebrating. But also if you can't celebrate the small things and you can't acknowledge the work that energy that's being reciprocated and it's showing up like as results, no matter, even if it's not the big five-year vision yet, you may not even be able to celebrate that five-year vision if you're incapable of celebrating the milestones and the goals achieved along the way. It was one of the best practices that you can get into as a business owner, be your best cheerleader, have support systems in place. So a business coach may not find it in your family. Sometimes the closest people to you will not be the most supportive and that's okay. There are other people that are going to become your tribe and you taking the actions of looking on Facebook groups, hiring a business coach, somebody that's going to celebrate with you and of course, enlisting the support of your invisible team. And just trust, believe that there is no mistake in what you're feeling in your heart. And even if you don't understand it, you don't know what to do next, and it's scary, all the things, it's there for a reason. So what can you do today to take a step to uncover and discover some more about what to do with that, how to begin, what to do next, how to set your next mile marker. You will find all of the answers, but don't close it up. Don't ignore it. Don't not believe that it's there to lead you to a much better, more extraordinary experience in your life. You can help so many more people by being who you really are. I am so grateful for this time together today. Thank you so much for being with me.